I think build lighting is one of the main pillar that let your render stand out. So that's why in this video I will share with you how I approach cinematic lighting and some principles that I use when it comes to 3D product rendering. It's called side light. It's a single light source that comes from one side and it creates a little triangle on the other side. And the opposite of this is front light, when the closer face to the camera is lit. And the last one is backlight, when the light comes from the back and uh, create a highlight to separate our objects from the background. Now we understand some lighting principles, we can start. If you grab the project file down below, you will have something like that. A camera and uh, a plane that make up our background. First thing I do is setting the wall strain to zero, and that's allow me to have full control over my light. Shift A and add uh, an area light. Scale it and give it a good strain to start. Move it up and uh, rotate it towards your camera. We can also duplicate it by hitting Shift D and place it closer to the first one. Those two area light represent our key light. In case you don't know what is key light, the key light is the first and usually most important light that a photographer or a cinematographer will use in a lighting setup. Basically it's light that does all the work. And now we have a good lighting in our scene, we can start adding highlight to separate our camera from the background. The way we do this is by adding another area light and placing it behind our camera. And this is what's called rim light. If we see before and after, much better. And we can also duplicate our rim light and place it on the bottom of the camera to fill in up those dark shadows. I think now we are done with lighting our camera, we can move on to the background. In the shading tab, with your plane selected, delete the principal PSDF and add the animation shader. Give it a strain around 0 and 1. And this is how we create a pure white background. I think we are done for now. I rendered this with cycle and color management set to filmic. And they did also some post processing in Photoshop. And this is the final result. And last thing, don't just follow what I did blindly. Take it as inspiration and create your own customized look. Because this is how really what is to be creative. If you really find this content valuable, please give it a like and subscribe so I know to make more. Our links down below. Have a beautiful day, my friends.